Hey guys, in today's video, I'm finally going to be participating in the 2023 CD tag. So if you guys remember back in January, I did do the vinyl tag and this is pretty much the same thing but for CDs. I actually just heard about the CD tag a few days ago and it's April. So I know I'm very late to this but better late than never because I don't really talk about my CD collection as much and I would like to make more content about my CD collection. I'm going to be following all of the questions and prompts from Lego Patey. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, sorry. So these are all of his questions. I'm going to be answering about half of his questions, the ones that apply to my collection. So the first question is a new release from 2022 that you bought. This is Funk Wave Bounces Volume 2 by Calvin Harris. He finally released Volume 2 for Funk Wave Bounces and of course I had to get the CD but the main reason why I got the CD is because it came with a signed insert. I think the album was good. I think I might like it more this summer when I play it because it came out at the end of summer last year so I think once I play this more and more um, I like it more but I do think it's a good decent album. Not as good as volume one. Question number two is the last CD that you bought and it was a pre-order so I don't have it physically in my hands yet. It's on pre-order for next week actually. It's Tiesto's newest album. It's called Drive. I pre-ordered that on Amazon with the vinyl so technically that is the last CD that I bought but since it doesn't even come out until next week it's on pre-order so I don't have it yet. The album will probably be out by the time I post this video. I'm very excited for that album to come out. I really love all the singles. Question number three is the first CD that you bought. I honestly don't remember. So I don't know if this one is actually the first CD that I bought, but I was going through my purchase history and this is the very first CD that I found. This is the Calm Plus One CD, Five Seconds of Summer's fourth album. It's got an extra song on it and it was definitely in my early stages of my CD and vinyl collection. Um, I didn't have a lot back then, but the reason why I got this is because I was able to get it with a signed insert similar to the Calvin Harris CD. So as you can see, this has a signed insert signed by every member of the band. I bought that in... I think it was like May 2020, something like that. Again, very, very early stages of my collection and my YouTube channel. I've probably bought a CD before that, but this is the one that I vividly remember and the one that is like the very first one I bought when I started collecting. And I actually got this on eBay for a really good deal. The next question is the last CD that you played on your stereo. I actually don't have a stereo. I don't even have my own CD player, so that's probably why I don't make as many videos about my CD collection. I just use my mom. So I haven't really played anything in that stereo or that CD player in a very very long time but I do remember playing this one. So I'm almost positive this is the last CD that I played. This is the Chainsmokers latest album called So Far So Good. It's their fourth album. I do play some CDs on the computer but I just don't think it's the same experience. I actually played this one in the car. A lot of cars nowadays don't even have CD um, players or built-in CD players but I remember testing out um, this CD in my dad's car because I never had played a CD in that car before and it sounded really good in the car too. Question number five is a various artists compilation CD. I only have a couple of those so for that one I have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I think this is the Target exclusive edition. Um, it does have a variant cover. This one is of Spider-Gwen so it's not the standard cover. It's all the songs that were in the movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I really love this album. It's got Juice World on it and I'm a big Juice World fan and I just really love this whole album too. It's got Sunflower as well. I'm a big Post Malone fan. There's a lot of artists that are on this CD. Like I said, Juice World, Post Malone, Lil Wayne, Ty Dollar Sign, Vince Staples. Overall, I think it was a great movie and I really love the album that went along with it. Next question is a best of or compilation CD from one artist and for that one I've got to go with Martin Garrix. This was one of the very first CDs I remember getting in my collection. I'm a big fan of Martin Garrix and he doesn't have his um, music on a lot of physical media. He doesn't have any records um, under his Martin Garrix name, but um, he does have a couple of CDs out and so of course I had to get all of them and this is the first one that I got. This one is called The Martin Garrix Experience. It's basically got all of his biggest hits up until around 2018, 2019-ish. It's got a lot of his fan favorites, a lot of his greatest hits. Yeah, I really love all the songs on here. Again, it's like a lot of my favorites from one of his older eras, I guess you could say. It's got High on Life in the name of of love, 
um, summer days, which I love, Bites, Pizza, Scared to be Lonely, So Far Away. If you guys are fans of Martin Garrix, you know those are some really great ones, so I love having this in my collection. The next question is a CD in a cardboard sleeve or cover. I don't know if this counts, but I guess it's the closest thing I have. This is one of those, I think they're called soft packs. They're basically like the CDs without a jewel case. It's these soft cover ones. This is Five Sauce Five by Five Seconds of Summer, their latest album. They had variant covers specific to each member of the band. So this is the Michael one. And it also came with like this little card here with his thumbprint. It's printed on and I really like the inside because it's got um, a picture of Michael because it is his special edition cover. Um, and then the CD is here on this side and the booklet is on this side. Next question is a CD that comes with a book. I'm going to use the same album for this one, Five Sauce Five. They had different variants and different covers and stuff like that available for Five Sauce Five. So I also bought the deluxe edition of the CD. Of course, because it is deluxe, it does have the extra bonus tracks. Um, the one that the Michael one does not have. So I had to get the deluxe edition and it came with this booklet. It's got a lot of behind the scenes pictures and lyrics and I love all the artwork in here. It's really, really cool. And the CD is in the back of the book here. Next up is a CD that comes with a live recording. And this is the only CD in my collection with a live recording or a live song. Um, this would also have to be another Five Seconds of Summer one. So for them, I have their album Calm. I think I mentioned Calm before, but this is the Target exclusive edition of the CD which comes with this alternate cover. Um, there's a poster in here as well and it also has three deluxe songs which are live versions of three of the singles. They call the live versions um, Live from the Vault so they've got Easier, Teeth, and No Shame Live from the Vault on this um, Target exclusive edition CD. I really love the live versions of the song so I'm really glad they included that and I also really love the alternate cover as well. I must have like five or six different versions of this album. The next question is my most expensive CD. I'm pretty sure it's Youngblood by Five Seconds of Summer. Surprise, surprise another Five Sauce CD. I have all of their albums on CD. I have the Youngblood Target exclusive CD. This is like the deluxe deluxe edition because it has more deluxe songs on it than any other CD. So it's got five extra songs. And what they did is they also did exclusive covers for every band member, which they do with every album. So I got the Ashton one. This was actually a Christmas gift. So technically I didn't pay for it, but this would be my most expensive CD because I'm pretty sure this was like $40. I think this was from eBay as well. It's been sold out for so, so long and it's very, very expensive and rare and hard to find. So it definitely is very expensive if you try to buy it now in 20. 23, but even $40 is a lot to pay for a CD. But I really love this CD. It's one of my favorites in my whole collection. I love the um, Ashton cover. I love the colors. I love the overall aesthetic and the Youngblood font. And of course, I love all the songs and the deluxe tracks. I just love everything about this CD. I know I keep saying next question, but I just realized, are these really questions or are they like prompts? I don't know. But anyways, the last prompt is a CD from a local band or artist. I don't think I have any from a band or artist, but I do have some from local DJs. So if you don't know, I'm from the Chicagoland area. There's so much music that comes from Chicago and I was actually in touch with a local DJ and he was able to hook me up with a lot of Chicago related CDs. I love having music from where I'm from. And the first one is from the DJ that gave me all of these. His name is DJ Vinyl Junkie. So this is his CD. This one is by Julian Jumpin Perez. And I I also have another one from this other DJ called Bobby D. It's really nice to have some mixtapes on CD from local Chicago DJs. So that's really cool to have in my collection. That is all of the prompts that I was able to answer for the CD tag for 2023. I really enjoyed answering all those questions. It did make me realize that I kind of need a little bit more variety in my CD collection. So I would love to continue to grow it. Maybe next year I will have a bigger variety and I will be able to answer more of the questions. If you want to see my vinyl tag, I will leave a link for that at the end of this video and in the description. Let me know if you guys also collect CDs. If you participated in the CD tag, let me know your answers or if you want to follow along with me, let me know your answers to all of these prompts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!